On May 5th in Washington, D.C., we will come together to celebrate the sainthood of Popes John XXIII and John Paul II. This is our chance as Americans for the world to show the tremendous love that not only Catholics, but Jews like myself and people of all faiths have for both John Paul and John XXIII. Peace through music in our age, a worldwide broadcast celebration of St. John XXIII and Pope John Paul II in the spirit of Pope Francis, will celebrate the unique commitment of these two popes to interfaith dialogue, tolerance, and mutual respect through music. When we think of what those two popes have initiated, have brought to the world, the whole idea that it is possible for people of every religious conviction and every cultural background to recognize their common humanity. That's what we're going to be celebrating. John XXIII, in the very brief, not even five-year pontificate, sought to reach out to other faiths in a document that became Nostra Aetate, which is why our concert is called Peace Through Music in Our Age. Nostra Aetate was commissioned under John XXIII and adopted by the Second Vatican Council in 1965. This landmark document called for dialogue among people of all faiths. We helped, I believe, the superpowers step back from the brink of war in 1962 at the time of the, the Cuban Missile uh, Crisis, as you know. At the end of the day, it was all about dialogue. It was about uh, interacting with people of different culture, different history, different faith. And all of that is summed up in his very uh, famous writing, the uh, Pachem in uh, Terris, which means peace on earth, one of the most important writings of John XXIII. Pope John Paul II, the dialogue between different nations, cultures, and religions was one of the most important tasks. He, from the very beginning, supported democracy, freedom, human rights. The world would be different without John Paul II. We believe one of the most significant, if not defining questions of our time is fostering interreligious understanding. There's no challenge we face in the world today that in some way is not either informed by or can't be supported in some way by a deeper understanding of the role that religion plays in that context. As the first Pope from Latin America, or as he says, from almost the end of the world, Pope Francis brings to the forefront some of the defining issues of our times, the need for more inclusive societies and the search for peace through social and interreligious dialogue. In these challenging times, may be one of Pope Francis' most inspiring messages, one that invites us to reflect profoundly, is that of inclusion, where the poor and those in need must always come first. His message is also full of hope in the future, calling us to become better persons, and why not change the world? Pope John Paul believed that there was a step beyond words. He was ob obviously very, very deeply dedicated to the power of words, but believed that music could go beyond words. We have world-class orchestral and vocal ensembles, as well as solo vocal artists from the United States, Poland, Italy, Argentina, and the United Kingdom, including Carnegie Hall's own Orchestra of St. Luke's, the Krakow Philharmonic Choir from John Paul's home city of Krakow, and one of America's leading choral ensembles, the Washington Choral Arts Society. In the spirit of Pope Francis, this uplifting event will be open gratis to all who attend. WETA is very proud to be able to share this moving event and our special message to a national and international audience through the power of public radio and public television. This very special concert is an event of true national and international significance. It will foster peace and understanding between faiths, an undertaking of exceptional importance. This concert is taking place in the capital city of the most influential country on the planet. Uh, it's taking place in the capital. It's taking place at the seat of Georgetown University. It's taking place involving this archdiocesan church, and it's bringing together the genius of artistic talent, uh, Maestro Levine, 
all of that coming together to say, it's, it's a new moment and it's our turn.